Hey guys, just finished washing your ride? Well, it's time to dry it. Today's video is gonna be about drying, so we're gonna break down all of our top tips for you guys to achieve the ultimate dry. So you're done washing your car, now it's time to dry it up. But to dry it, you wanna make sure that you have the proper tools and equipment to get the job done. So the first product that I have right here is our Woolly Mammoth drying towel. A lot of you guys may know this, but this is our hugest, thickest, plushest microfiber drying towel with silk edging to give you that ultimate drying experience. So this towel right here will literally soak up a whole gallon of water, no problem. So as you guys can imagine, it'll pretty much tackle down any size ride, whether you're driving a full-size truck or a small compact car, this is the towel that you want in your arsenal to get the job done. And in combination, I'm gonna be using it with our Pro Blow High Speed Professional Air Blower and Dryer. Now this right here is a must have in every detailer's arsenal. The reason why is because this is gonna help you get rid of standing water from all those hard to reach areas such as grills, trims, tires, wheels, you know, you name it. You're gonna need something that's gonna get that water out because, you know, sometimes, you know, you're not gonna be able to get into there with your drying towel. So having a professional air blower is what's gonna get you the job done right. So to start off this process, I like to start off by drying off the bulk of the vehicle with my microfiber drying towel. Now, the reason I like drying off the majority of the vehicle with my microfiber drying towel is because it's gonna pretty much soak up all the heavy remaining of water that's on the surface. So as far as like the hood, as you guys can see, you have a lot of water here. You know, you can use a blower to pretty much dry your entire vehicle. However, I find it's a little bit faster. You know, if you do it with your microfiber drying towel, get rid of like the heavy areas such as like the ceiling. You know, it's kind of hard to get up there unless you have like a ladder, like a step stool. So to dry that area, sometimes it's a lot easier for you to just grab a microfiber drying towel like the Woolly Mammoth, slap it down, pull it down and you're good to go. So right here in the hood, as you guys can see, I'm gonna throw my Woolly Mammoth down and I'm simply gonna drag it downwards. And as you guys can see, it soaks up all the water, no problem. And I can pretty much do this for the rest of the vehicle. I mean, as far as like the windshield as well, I can go ahead and slap it down pretty much drag it, pick up all the water that's on the surface, and then continue with this process. So this is a great towel to use in order to get the majority of your vehicle done. So like I mentioned, you have your air blower, you know, you can use it as far as like, you know, getting the water out from all these intricate areas like your grill and stuff. But I find that it's a lot easier for you to dry the majority of your vehicle first so that you get that water out the way. And then once you're done drying your vehicle, you can come back with your blower, get rid of all that water, and I'll show you guys right now in a second. Right now I'm gonna finish wiping down the rest of the vehicle, get as much of this water off before I go with my blower, and be right back with you guys when I'm done. All right guys, so I did jump the gun a little bit. I did tell you guys that I was gonna be back with you guys once I'm done drying the car. However, I kinda did skip over something, one of the most important things when it comes to drying, which is our afterwash drying solution. Now, if you wanna have the ultimate slickest drying experience, I highly recommend that you dry your car using your afterwash solution because this right here, what it does is it breaks down the tension of the water that's left on the surface. So if you guys come join me over here a little bit closer, I'll show you guys kind of like a little demonstrational, you know, kind of little clip that you guys can actually, you know, see. So right here, I have all my water remaining right there. What I'm gonna do is with afterwash, you wanna spray a light mist into the surface and watch what happens when I spray it. It breaks down the tension of the water and it adds a nice slick little layer and it also shines your car as you dry. So what I like doing is you don't have to go crazy drenching, you know, after wash all over your vehicle. Spray like about, you know, three good sprays a panel. Set your bottle of after wash down and then you can go ahead and grab your microfiber drying towel and wipe up any excess water. And what that does is it picks up the water and it also gives you a nice super slick feel. So if you have a vehicle that you're drying that doesn't really have protection, this is definitely gonna help out with the drying process so that you can simply glide your towel right over with no problem and achieve a nice high gloss shine once you're done drying that little panel. So after wash, like I said, super great product, super easy to use. You know, you don't need much of it, just a light little mist and you're good to go. So now I'm gonna finish drying the vehicle and I'll be right back with you guys once I'm done. <music> All right guys, and we're done pretty much drying up the majority of the car with our Woolly Mammoth drying towel. However, we still have a lot of water left in the cracks. Now, I intentionally 
don't really do a super, you know, 100% job whenever I'm drying it with the Woolly Mammoth because I know that I'm still gonna have to follow it up because once I hit it with the blower, all that water is gonna get kind of knocked out and, you know, in the areas where I already dried. So I'm still gonna have to pass over it. So, you know, your first initial pass with the Woolly Mammoth, don't worry too much about it. Just kind of get the bulk of the water off and then continue with the blower. So that's where we're at right now. We're using our Pro Blow to get the water out from all these hard to reach areas. So as you guys can see right here in the grill, you have a lot of intricate areas. Now you can get in here with your drying towel. However, you know, having a blower, it's a lot more convenient. It's a lot faster. It's a lot easier. So check this out. The Pro Blow utilizes a super strong motor. It blows out all the water from here super easily and effortlessly so that you don't have to, you know, jam your fingers in there and get them all in a, in a bunch. So check this out real quick. All right, guys, and just like that, you guys saw it's super easy. You got all that water out from out of there, and now you can take another towel. Once you're done pretty much wringing out the rest of your vehicle, grab a smaller towel. You can actually grab your Woolly Mammoth as well if you wanted to, and then you can follow it up. So right now, I'm gonna you know continue with doing the rest of the intricate areas. You know, I'll show you guys some of those areas right now. Some will be the grill, you know, the side mirror, the wheels, especially the wheels. That's why I love it because you know with the wheels. It's kind of hard, especially if you have a wheel that has a lot of spokes. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of the car, show you guys a little bit of clips here and there of you know some of the awesome ways and some of the awesome places that you can use it at. And we'll be right back with you guys for the final step. All right guys, so as you guys saw, we knocked out a lot of water from all those hard to reach areas, but now all that water is still left on our vehicle. So we wanna go ahead and make sure to pick that up before we conclude this drying process. So that's why I have a small waffle weave towel right here. Now, the reason I like having a small waffle weave material towel is because I like to use it just kind of like as a small convenient towel to hold that I can easily use to kind of wick up any kind of light little, you know, water spots that are still left behind. So right now I'm gonna conclude the, you know, the car wash just by finishing up the drying process we're gonna use our waffle weave drying towel just like I said wick up any kind of last you know remaining water that's left on the car so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys learned something new today make sure to comment down below also make sure to comment down below your best strategy for drying up your ride because I'm super curious as to how you guys do it as always my name is Joey this is chemical guys detail garage I'll see you guys next time